Hi guys, a different bargain store today. This one's called Home Bargains. I picked up this uh, flower pot windmill, as it calls it there. £1.49, a little bit more than I like to spend, but I rather liked it. It's wooden. These look like they're bits of thin plywood that it's been made from. And I reckon that flower or windmill would make a suitable propeller for one of my rubber band powered cars. So that's one of my ones that I've used several times. It's a cardboard body or chassis. It's got some drinking straws hot glued to it for the axles to go through. I've had a look through my junk box. I've got four CD wheels there. These ones have got bottle caps taped into position for the hubs and a bamboo skewer through them or bamboo cane barbecue skewer and at this end the bottle caps are actually hot glued in place and I'm using a bicycle spoke as the axle so the bicycle spoke will actually spin inside those drinking straws but at the same time the wheels will actually spin on the bicycle spoke anyway so we should have some pretty low friction there not that it's particularly relevant in this case um, got some plastic beads there to keep the wheels away from the bodywork and that's an electrical connector there that we can tighten up those screws and that locks it in place on the bicycle spoke so it keeps the wheels in position. So that's our basic car. I just thought it was handy to do it that way to demonstrate different ways of making the wheels and then we'll have to make up some sort of bracket so that we can attach the propeller on it front or back, doesn't really matter. It's also small enough to fit between the wheels, so it won't be hitting the wheels. So I'll rig something up. And uh, yeah, should work. In fact, thinking about that, I could probably attach the rubber band to that axle, because that axle doesn't need to turn, because the wheels turn anyway. So attach on there, little bracket on there to support the propeller. I'll have to make up a hook um, to attach the propeller to. Yeah, that should work. Right, the propeller is actually held on there with this little nut and bolt. So I should be able to undo that easily enough. only thing is that's a free turning on there we actually want it to be held in place so I'll have to get that cap off that might take a little bit of leverage that is very well glued in place I think what I'll have to do is drill it out drill a hole in it so I can just push that through I've drilled the front out so I can get the screw out and I've put a bit of bicycle spoke through there. I've uh, bent the end over. I shall hot glue that in place to hold it in place in the propeller. I've got a bead behind it and then a little bit of, this is an aluminium tube, but any bit of tubing would do. And I've bent the other end so we can hook the rubber band over it to wind it up. And then this little bit of cardboard I cut out of there when I modified it for a different project. So I've cut that sort of triangular shape. I shall hot glue that on there and then hot glue that on there.
Well, it's working. It's very unbalanced. I actually had to put a lead weight on it to stop it rocking around. And I think we need to wind it up quite a bit more. We've only got about half the distance that I want. Just try it as a puller rather than a pusher, see what difference that makes. Hmm. <laughs> Didn't get over the little hump where we have a join between the new conservatory and the old kitchen. That seemed more stable though, didn't seem to be bouncing around as much. So I might try winding it up a bit more. Or I could give it another strand of rubber bands, a bit more power. Well, we got the full distance. That was with three strands of rubber bands. So I increased the power and we got the distance. <laughs> well, that works. Summary time, what have we got? We've got a rubber band powered, propeller driven or fan driven car. Uh, this came from a garden windmill ornament. It's plywood I think, it's certainly wood rather than plastic. I had to drill the middle out to get the a uh, nut and bolt out of it that was holding it in place and I've replaced it with a bit of bent uh, bicycle spoke and a bit of aluminium tubing and a plastic bead just to give it some uh, reduce the friction that's a bit of cardboard the chassis is cardboard the axle tubes are plastic drinking straws the wheels are CDs or DVDs. Front axle is a bamboo cane or a barbecue skewer. Uh, the CDs have got plastic bottle caps taped to them for the hubs. On the back wheels, as it is now, um, I'm actually using a bicycle spoke as the axle. And the wheels, free wheel, on the bicycle spoke so the, the axle doesn't actually need to turn which is convenient because that means I can tie the rubber bands onto it. Uh, I had to use three strands of rubber bands to give us enough power to get it moving. The propeller or fan blade is pretty unbalanced and I had to put some weight on it on the car to stop it bouncing around and going off, off direction. Uh, oh, I missed out. I've got some plastic beads there to keep the wheels away from the bodywork. And then the bicycle spoke is held in place with this little electrical connector, which we can just un unscrew and slide off again, or tighten up and adjust the wheels. And that's it. A fan-driven, rubber band-powered car.